you give, uh, in the classic Yan Lacoon way, a pretty good example of just when a, t a new technology comes to be. You say, uh, engineer says, I invented this new thing. I call it a ball pen. And then the Twitter sphere responds, OMG, people could write horrible things with it, like misinformation, propaganda, hate speech, ban it now. Then writing doomers come in, akin to the AI doomers. Imagine if everyone can get a ball pen. This could destroy society. There should be a law against using ball pen to write hate speech, regulate ball pens now. And then the pencil industry mogul says, yeah, ball pens are very dangerous, unlike pencil writing, which is erasable. Ball pen writing stays forever. Government should require a license for a pen manufacturer. I mean, this does seem to be part of um, human psychology when when it comes up against new technology. So what, what deep insights can you speak to about this? Well, there is a, a natural fear of uh, new technology and the impact it can have on society. And people have kind of instinctive reaction to, um, you know, the world they know being threatened by major transformations um, that are either cultural phenomena or technological um, revolutions. And they fear for their culture, they fear for their job, they fear for their, they fear for their you know, the future of their children. Um, and uh, their way of life, right? So, so any change um, is feared, and and you see this, you know, uh, along history, like any technological rev revolution or cultural phenomenon was always accompanied by, uh, uh, you know, groups or reaction in the media uh, that that basically attributed the all the problems, the current problems of society, to that particular change. Right, electricity was going to kill everyone at some point. You know, you uh, the train was going to be a horrible thing because you know you can't breathe past fifty kilometers an hour. Um, and so there's a, a wonderful website called the Pessimist Archive, mm -hmm. uh, right. which has all those newspaper clips of all the horrible things people imagine would would arrive because of. Uh, either a technological uh, innovation or uh, a cultural phenomenon. Um, you know, the, this is wonderful examples of, uh, uh, you know, jazz or comic books uh, being blamed for uh, unemployment or, or, you know, young people not wanting to work anymore and things like that, right? And, and that has existed for, for centuries. Um, and, it's you know knee jerk reactions. Um, the question is, you know, do we embrace change uh, or do we resist it? And what are the real dangers as opposed to the imagined uh, imagined ones? So people worry about. I think one thing they worry about with big tech, something we've been talking about over and over, but I think worth mentioning again. They worry about how powerful AI will be, and they worry about it being con in the hands of one centralized power of just a handful of central control. And so that's the skepticism with big tech you can make. These companies can make a huge amount of money and control this technology, and by so doing, you know, take advantage, uh, abuse the little guy in society. Well, that's exactly why we need open source platforms. Yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> nail the point home more and more.